Well, developing news now, the Maui fires are now considered the deadliest wildfire disaster in modern U.S. history. Overnight, the death toll increased to 93. Authorities confirm they've searched through 3% of the damaged area. An estimated 1,000 people are still missing. Hawaii Governor Josh Green says over 2,000 structures have been destroyed or damaged. And he also says at least 1,000 rooms have been secured for support staff and for those displaced by the Lahaina fires. ABC News reporter Gio Benitez tells us about the efforts happening today. This morning, communities trying to recover in the wake of the deadliest U.S. wildfire in a century. Overnight, that grim reality from officials, at least 93 lives lost since the devastating inferno broke out on Tuesday. Now, we were here just two days ago, and the number was smaller, and it's going to continue to rise. FEMA saying the fire damaged more than 2,200 structures and burned through more than 2,100 acres. The devastation is so complete that you see metals twisted in ways that you can't imagine, and you see nothing uh, from organic structures left whatsoever. The agency deploying more than 150 workers to the island to assist in recovery efforts. Across Maui, people sharing harrowing tales of survival. Annalise Cochran was able to escape the fire by jumping into the ocean, telling me she was clinging to a wall for more than seven hours. So how did you survive? I climbed over the seawall into the ocean, and while um, the fire was happening and the cars were exploding, uh, we would duck into the water and we would put our mouths as close to the surface as we could so that we could breathe. And now, anger is directed at the local government. Residents saying they were not given enough warning. Our Melissa Don catching up with people outside Lahaina who were having trouble returning to their homes. I saw no management of the situation whatsoever. There was one police car with like the little blue lights flashing. Nothing about there's a fire, evacuate, get out, no fire trucks. I never saw a drop of water going through. There was no alert that went off, no alarm, uh, no text that was telling us that we needed to evacuate. I was with my neighbors outside watching smoke billowing at 80 miles an hour over my apartment. And that's when we saw flames about one block away, kind of catty corner across. A you got no wall. warning at all? Absolutely no warning. Authorities responding overnight saying that the speed and intensity of the flames complicated efforts to warn citizens. There were multiple fires at the same time, and the circumstance was greatly complicated also by the heat and the speed with which the fire spread, destroying a great deal of infrastructure. Over time, we'll be able to figure out if we could have better protected people. Gio Benitez, ABC News.